Well, it's a pocket box time, and I would show you the really pretty box because I think they have the best looking box in the subscription box industry, but this time they sent it in a plain white wrapper. But this is the February 2021 a pocket box, and that's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for trustworthy information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me for a quick look at the February 21, 2021 Apaca box. And like I said, for some reason, this one's in a plain white box. Maybe Creek, uh, Creek got behind on his, uh, getting his boxes ordered. I don't know, but we're going to see what's in this one right now. And if you're not familiar with the pocket box, by the way, it's a month bi-monthly subscription box. So every other month they'll send you a box if you sign up. And I've said this over and over. I'm going to keep saying it because every time I do a video, some of the comments make it clear to me that people did not understand what I'm saying or didn't listen or whatever. But a pocket box, in my opinion, is not about getting a certain amount of stuff at a discount or a deal it's not even really as much about the value of the stuff in the box as it is about the experience of what you, what you can do with the stuff in the box and learning and skills challenges and things like that so it's just geared more towards unusual things and learning skills and challenges than it is stuff so if you want to leave a comment saying that stuff's not worth x then fine but I, i'm telling you this is not about the value of the stuff this is about the value of the knowledge and skill and experience you gain when you use the stuff. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. So let's take a look and see what is in this must box. In no particular order except for the way it's written in here. So first of all, there's an urban patch knife. Let's see what that means. And basically patch knives were carried by riflemen to use them to cut patches of cloth to go around their ball back in the day when they had to sh shove those balls down in a uh, barrel and pack them down and uh, use the old black powder thing. So this comes with a couple of pieces of paracord or some kind of cordage here. It looks like paracord and it's fused on the ends. So attention to detail. A little cloth bag. It's got some uh, different instructions on here about different diff different ways to, to hook it up and to, to do a uh, to fix your your uh, sheath around your neck or whatever. And then this is made by, who's it made by? Reptile Tool Works. So this is a very unique kind of handmade deal. And it's nothing fancy about it. It's just a piece of steel that's cut out, roughly shaped and sharpened. So, and a very, very, very simple little sandwich kydex sheath. So there's that. So you can uh, use that for all sorts of cool little projects. And it's just an example of the kind of unusual things that maybe you won't get somewhere else. It's rough and very primitive looking and it's supposed to be. So there's that. Next item is something I reviewed on the channel a while back. And to be honest with you, I wasn't super thrilled with it. It's a Schrade uh, SCH 005 DLB Lights Out Double Back Lock Knife. And basically it's a double bladed knife and one blade serrated and one blade's not. And I mean, it's okay. It, it, it's, it's eight CA 13 MOV high carbon steel and decent little knife. I've reviewed this thing probably four or five years ago. Um, so there you go. There's that. Next, there is a pretty cool one of Creek's pocket field guys. I really like these. I think that's really good information. And this is about uh, snaring squirrels for survival. So pretty cool there. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that you just won't see anywhere else. Uh, next, there are, let's see, oh, com with that, there is a an emergency snare wire companion kit. So once you figured out that, that little book, it's just a little bag in here. Nice little bag. He always puts these little bags in here. And this is a pretty pretty nice bag. You can put all kinds of stuff in here. But it's just got some, some snare wire in it. And it doesn't say how much of this is in here, but it can be used as a trip wire or to repair tool and gear. So... That's pretty cool there. Once you learn how to snare them squirrels, you got something to snare them with. Then there is a package of lamb's quarter seeds. And this is pretty cool because these are actually, lamb's quarter is actually a, a wild edible. And Creek says about a month ago, he went into the wild and harvested seeds from an edible plant called lamb's quarter. He made a simple stew with them and he made a YouTube video about it. And then it got so many views and so much, um, so much feedback that he went on out and harvested 
some of the seeds and him and his mom and dad packed them up in here so you can plant them on your own little patch of lamb's quarter which is pretty cool i think then there is a uh if you don't know what lamb's quarter is there's a little a little information packet in here that tells you about lamb's quarter and how to identify it and what how it's used so pretty cool there then what's next there is a crkt speaking of eating edible plants eating and it's a little eating tool and this is a really really small one this may be one of the smallest ones i've ever seen um as far as let's have a look at it see if i can get it out of here oh uh, it's probably zip tied around or some something around this around this cardboard in here i mean i don't know why they can't just package stuff nowadays like normal i guess anyway so it's, it's right here it's just got a little fork a spork with no handle you got just a short handle on it and a little bottle opener there so pretty cool there and then finally that's the multi that's the iota there's one more thing up two more things in here there's just a, a pair of steel micro micro tweezers just spring steel and they just do that right there so uh, tweezers come in really handy if you get a splinter if you have a uh, you know something you need to deal with tweezers work really well so that's a cool thing to have and then finally there is a 100 percent cotton canvas barrack bag and this is just a big old bag that you can put stuff in um, this would be great to stuff your clothes in and make a pillow or just uh it's always good to have a big bag like this so that is the february 2021 apocalypse box and like i said some pretty unusual stuff in here um I try to pick out a couple things um, when I look at these that, that are my favorite items. And I'll be honest with you, I think the um, the lamb's quarter seeds and the lamb's quarter ID, I think this is just really cool. I, I don't know where else I've even seen seeds from wild edibles that you could plant these in your yard and get two things out of that. First, you get some wild edibles and you... you um, you can use it to learn to identify what lamb's, lamb's quarter looks like in the wild because you've actually got it growing. So you can see it at all the different stages of growth. So that way, if you are in the wild, you need to look for some wild edibles. That's a, you've got direct hands-on experience with it, which is pretty cool because you know for sure that's what this is. There's no guesswork. So um, my hat's off to Creek for coming up with that idea. I think it'd be a great idea for him to do that for some different wild edibles um, in the future. I mean, that's, that's a pretty neat idea. So anyway, that is the February 2021 Apocalypse Box. And I like to do these videos just to kind of give you uh, a lot, build up a library. You can go back and look at them and see if, if it's, you know, kind of get an example of the kind of things you might expect in one of these boxes and decide if, it, if it's maybe something you're interested in. So I hope this has been helpful. As always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Remember, survival is not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.